Uh, chapter 23, pick right up again in verse 17. There shall be no harlot of the daughters of Israel. No harlot of the daughters of Israel. Nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. Nor a sodomite. Amen. The word sodomite comes from the word Sodom. God destroyed the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah because of, uh, give me Hebrews, uh, Jude, the seventh chapter, seventh birth of Jude, because of a homosexual atmosphere that had been created in that uh, city. And the reason why was because there were too many cowardly preachers. They had preachers then. They had prophets then. But they didn't have any backbone. So when this disease of homosexuality began to flourish, the preachers got afraid and wouldn't speak out against it. Now here's what it says in the book of Jude, uh, verse 7. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh. Giving themselves over to fornication, which means committing fornication and going after what? Strange flesh. Strange flesh means something is different. Man desiring to go to bed with another man, that's different. Amen. That's strange. <laughs> woman wanting to go to bed with another woman, that's strange. Amen. That's homosexuality. Yeah. That's a demented yeah. mental state of mind. There's something wrong with your mental aptitude when you are so confused that you don't know you're a man, you don't know you're a woman. Something's wrong with you mentally. Amen. Hallelujah. And nothing wrong with you physically. Amen. All this is in your mind. So I'm saying, brothers and sisters, and I say to Reverend Carlton Pearson, you have a demented mind, which is of the Antichrist. And the Bible says there will be many Antichrists in this dispensation of time who will go against the Word of God and make themselves an enemy of the Church of God. And by President Obama supporting these sodomites and these homosexuals, he made himself an enemy of the Church of God. Amen. Hallelujah. And I come against Obama just like I come against Reverend Carlson. Yes, Lord. Just like I'm coming against Eddie Long. Hallelujah. And he's supposed to step down, but he hasn't stepped down yet. No, man. And I'm giving him a commandment again. Step down from Amen. the pulpit. Yes, Turn in your preacher's credentials. Yes, Hallelujah. You're a sodomite. Yes. The best thing you can do is repent before God. Amen. And get me to anoint you with oil in the name of Jesus that that sin be cast away from you. Yeah. And then sit in the back pew and hear the word of God and humble yourself. Amen. That God will put it and just save your soul before it's everlasting too late. But unless there's an act of humility, there can be no repentance. Yeah. Now here's where I'm going with this now. Anybody can make a mistake and repent and be saved. But if you don't have the courage to admit I'm wrong, God certainly cannot forgive you. Amen. In order for him to forgive you, you got to say, I'm sorry. Amen. For, what, for what I did, I'm sorry. Hallelujah. And when you say you're sorry from the integrity of your heart, God will forgive you and wash your sins and make them wider than his son. Amen. He did it for David, he'll do it for us. Yes. But David had humility. Thank God. And when we got saved and came into holiness, we had humility. We said, no, we're sorry for that life. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, you. But we also said, that life is gone. Yeah. That fella gone. He's not coming back no more. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to let him. Right. And I've got power in me through the Holy Ghost yeah. that dwells in me. I don't have to commit sin. Yeah. You hear the good preachers out there by way of YouTube, you better listen to me. Nobody has to commit an act of sin unless they want to. You don't have to pick up a pack of cigarettes unless you want to. Yes. You don't have to pick up a liquor bottle unless you want to. Right. Hallelujah. Sally Sue give you a phone number on the job, give it right back. That's right, baby. Say, I can't accept this phone number. I'm married. Uh -huh. I got a wife. Yes. I don't cheat no more. Amen. Maybe I did in the past, but I don't do that again. Well, I'm saved now. Save means something. Hallelujah. Yeah. It meant something then, it means something now. Not to the false church. Because they believe everything goes. I warn you about this television set. Amen. Watch what you watch. Amen. Be careful of what you see. Amen. It can be a part and begin to develop a character that's not like God. Yeah. Right. 
we need to be careful how we reflect on our righteousness. Don't let these con artist preachers tell you you can still live like the devil because you repeated some words and you are still saved. No, what you are is how you act. Amen. Your character cannot be separated from what you are. Jesus said in Matthew 7 chapter, well, give me Matthew 7 chapter. Amen. I'm going to call the panel just a minute. Amen. Verse 13. Yeah. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leads to destruction, and many there be which go in therein. Many there be that go in uh, the broad way. Read. So straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leads unto life, and few there be that find it. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. You shall know the by their truth. A good tree cannot produce an evil fruit. Uh -huh. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. An evil fruit can't produce something that's good and clean. Read. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. I hope Reverend Carlton Pearson can hear me. <laughs> that's what the Word of God said. Could you repeat that again? Every soul that does not produce a righteous character is hewn down and cast into the fire. It's not talking about a tree, it's talking about a soul. Amen. It's cast into what? The fire. Now, Reverend Carlton says there's no such thing as hell. <laughs> How can somebody go to a church like that? That's right, Rob. No such thing as eternal destruction. God said cast into the fire. And I believe the 21st chapter, 22nd, first 21st chapter of the book of Revelation mentions about an eternal fire to those who have rebelled against God and have found before the judgment throne and been rejected. They shall burn in everlasting fire forever and ever. That's the word of God. Now you mean to tell me you're going to follow a pastor who's going to say the word of God is in error? Amen. Don't you know if I couldn't find no holes in this church, I'd stay at home. And I want to correct that other pastor who wanted to correct me uh, in innuendo like... <laughs> I've said before, and I'll say it again. If you can't find a hole in this church that's teaching the truth of God's word, and you can't find one in the city you at, stay at home. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't go to a false church. The Bible is very clear. Give me second epistle of John, verse 10. I'm going to call the panel up in one minute. If there come any unto you, if there come any unto you, and bring not the apostles' doctrine. Receive him not into your house. Receive him not in your house. Neither bid him a God's speed. For he that bid him God's speed is partaker of his evil deeds. If you bid him God's speed, if you say have a nice day, you are partaker of his Woo! evil deeds. Now I want you to turn up to Romans again, the first chapter. Paul dealt with homosexuality. Because he was inspired by God. He was God's right, apostle. And I hope Reverend Carlton Pearson can hear me. This is Paul speaking by authority and mandate of Almighty God. In verse uh, 23. And change the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible man, and to birds and four-footed beasts and creepy things. To wait a minute. Change the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image like corruptible man. A pro corruptible man, this context means evil men, wicked men, men who don't have the truth, men who have no character. Read. And to birds and four footed beasts and creepy things. Four footed beasts. Four footed beasts. Amen. You made the word of God like a four footed beast. Now, yeah. animals have their place, but not in church. Hallelujah. God says so. Right, right. Four foot beast includes any animal with four feet. That's right, amen. Dog and cat don't have no place in church. That's right. At home, if that's what you want to do. Right, but not in church. Amen. Hallelujah. Church is holy. Hallelujah. Church is sacred ground. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. When Moses came into the presence of God.